Welcome to our stock data series. If you're using the market data add-on, you're probably working with a lot of data. Even though market data formulas only take a second or two to update, multiply one to two seconds by say 500 formulas, and all of a sudden your spreadsheet is taking a very long time to load. Let's use a real life example with the S&P 500. I'm gonna make 500 stock data requests for real-time prices and see how long it takes to load. The technical reason this takes so long is that Google Sheets will not make 500 simultaneous requests and each stock data formula makes a request to the market data servers. So the formulas enter a Google queue and everything takes a long time to finish. Even speeding up the video by 800% you can see how painful it is to wait for all these formulas to finish downloading. 500 formulas can take upwards of two minutes to download. Fortunately, the solution to this is easy, especially if you have the data organized like I do in a column like this. Watch how I now select the entire range of symbols. We'll get 500 prices in just a few seconds. Everything will load practically instantly and our sheet will refresh much faster. The reason for this is that by using a single formula and combining all our symbols in a single request, we make just one API call to market data server. And this means we get to skip the Google queue and everything goes much quicker. But it doesn't stop there. We can also use stock data to fetch bulk historical data there are two rules you need to follow for bulk historical downloads. First, you can use daily timeframes only. So you can't use this bulk feature for intraday data yet, only daily data. And second, you can download one date per symbol. Let's say I want the closing price for last week. As long as I fetch one day at a time, you can use the bulk formula and download all 500 stocks at once for that day. To complete my formula, I put the list of stocks as the first parameter, the column that I want close in this case as the second parameter, and then I turn off the headers, and then I put the day that I'm looking for as the third parameter, and that's all there is to it. With these three parameters, I can download bulk historical data for any number of stocks that I need. I just drag this across and then it'll complete my formula for the remaining days. If you're already a market data customer, I invite you to take a look at your spreadsheets and see how many stock data formulas you can combine using both the real time and historical functions that are offered by bulk downloading. You'll get quite the performance boost. You can also use stock data's bulk download feature for bulk downloads of real-time candle data. So here's how I would do a daily candle for the entire S&P 500 for today. I just use all to get all data available and that will actually download the symbol as well. And then as the third parameter, I'll add the relative date uh, keyword today. So that will automatically get us today's uh, complete candlestick data for all S&P 500 stocks. I hope this video has been educational. Please make sure to like and subscribe to get future videos in this series. Thank you very much for watching.